What's going on, everybody? I'm Basket44 here from Game Refusion. Uh, quick little Call of Duty Black Ops 3 update. Uh, this poster leaked uh, recently. And as you can see, we have a release date. Uh, it's going to be November 6, 2015. Uh, about the same time as last year. I think uh, Advanced Warfare came out the 7th, if I can remember correctly. And if you pre-order it, you get the beta access. So that's pretty cool. So we'll have a beta before this game comes out, which is really neat. Uh... Like I said in one of my previous videos, I'm excited for this game. Always been a fan of the Black Ops series. Uh, they've been my favorite Call of Duty. So, I'm, I'm happy this is happening. But, uh, the main reason I want to make this video, if that's not enough right there, um, there's some interesting rumors happening. So, PlayStation had the announcement trailer on their uh, YouTube channel way before Xbox. I don't even know if Xbox has it up yet. I think they do by now. But PlayStation had it first. And as you guys know, Call of Duty always uh, partners with Xbox. And they get the exclusive stuff. They get the early access to like the map packs. So what have you. Um, there's a lot of rumors saying that PlayStation is now partnered with Call of Duty. Uh, some people think it's because of the whole Destiny Activision thing. Uh, some people think it's because Call of Duty Advanced, Wars, Advanced Warfare sold a hell of a lot better on PlayStation 4 than Xbox One and 360 and PS3. And there's another rumor, too, that Call of Duty knows that Halo is coming out the week before that. And they know Xbox is going to be promoting Halo Hardcore. So they want to make sure they still get their promotion. So they're going to go with PlayStation kind of compete with that Halo aspect, which is... It makes sense to me. Uh, there's no, this is not confirmed by any means yet, but all signs seem to be pointing to that. Um, it's really crazy because the other one that we talked about too was a uh, Star Wars Battlefront with EA and Dice. PlayStation has all the promotion for that, just like how they did with Destiny, uh, Dice and EA. You know, they've always been with Battlefield, have always been Xbox, 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 and now this is on PlayStation 2, Call of Duty looks to be taking that approach as well. It's crazy how much things have turned around. Um, this isn't fanboy talk here. This isn't anything like that. This is straight up proof. It's just, it's, it blows my mind. It really does. It's kind of cool, though, because I've always been a PlayStation fan. But, you know, Xbox has Tomb Raider now, which sucks because I think I've talked about this, too, because Tomb Raider has always been a PlayStation platform type game like when you think of Tomb Raider you think of PlayStation and then like now Street Fighter is a PlayStation 4 exclusive and when I think of Street Fighter I think of Xbox so it's weird how that switched uh Call of Duty seems to switch to I mean Battlefront isn't really switching because it's the first one in a while so that's gonna be PlayStation but the EA Dice thing so a whole lot of stuff is going on this is a good video for you guys to comment on leave me a comment let me know what you guys think um, if you guys hear anything else about the PlayStation 4 and Call of Duty, leave a comment below. Really would like to see or uh, read those. I'll comment back as soon as I can, as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, Gamer Fusion empowers the gaming. Like the video, subscribe, and comment, and hit me up on Twitter at Elbesky44. Peace.